Shabbat Shalom, Rabbi Rachel Zarin here with a thought for Shabbat. We often think of prayer as something formal and grand. We enter a chapel or a sanctuary, stand up tall, hold a seat door, and read the words in the prayer book, approaching God with the dignity and grandeur that approaching the divine deserves. But this week's parasha offers another perspective on how we can approach prayer and perhaps even another perspective on how we can think about our relationship with God. This week we read Parashat Chaye Sara, and among many other things in this parasha, we read the moment when Isaac and Rebecca meet. Right before they encounter each other for the first time, we read that Isaac is out lasuach basadeh. In context, this seems to mean that he is out wandering in the field, walking or meditating in the fields. But the word lasuach isn't usually used to mean walking. More often, it's used to mean talking, conversing even, like the modern Hebrew word sicha, to have a conversation. This leads the rabbis to believe that Isaac was out, not just walking in the field, but reciting the afternoon prayer as a form of conversation with God. When I think of prayer, I have to say that I think of this moment between Isaac and God with such warmth and tenderness. What if Isaac approached prayer not as something formal, but as a conversation with God? And what if we, too, approached prayer as an opportunity for conversation? For conversation, perhaps, with ourselves and our innermost thoughts? For conversation with the divine? For conversation in ways with our community? Still maintaining the formality and the grandeur when that adds meaning, but also remembering that prayer can simply be a conversation, a relaxed way of interacting with our innermost thoughts, with those around us, and with God. I hope that this Shabbat can be an opportunity for that kind of prayer and others, that we all experience the kind of relationship Isaac did with God, one where we can enter into conversation out in the fields or wherever we may be. And I hope that we all have a Shabbat Shalom.